Are you leaning in? Are you leaning in? Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Fearless Fridays. Today is Friday, June 12th. This is episode 58 of Fearless Fridays. Thank you for watching. If it's your first time, thank you so much for coming. Welcome to the show. And if you are a repeat, a return watcher, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate you. So listen, this week, this past week, these past couple of weeks and months have been a lot. There's a lot going on, specifically the past couple of weeks. Um, in regards to social justice and racism, we're seeing marches and speeches and protests and all kinds of things happening, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And I don't know about y'all, but I have been receiving lots of emails and seeing lots of social media statements from different companies and organizations, you know, talking about their stance and where they stand on injustice and racism and discrimination and, you know, uh, standing with Black Lives Matter and all of these different things. And, all of those things are nice. All, the, all of those statements and emails are nice. But when I read things like that, my first question is, okay, who are you talking to and what are you talking about? And my second question, I guess that's two questions. Who are you talking to and what are you talking about? That's the first part. And the second thought that I have is, how are you going to change? How are we going to see the shift? What are you going to do? What is your action actually going to be? And when I think about the first thought, the first set of questions, how are, who are you talking to and what are you talking about? I'm thinking about all of the conversations that I'm having in my own life, conversations with friends, conversations with family. You may be having those conversations. You might also be having conversations with strangers, debates with strangers, conversations with organizations that you've worked with, conversations with your company, companies that you worked, that you have worked for or do currently work for. And that's kind of what I want to focus on today is the conversations because the conversations require us to lean in. The conversations require us to say things that maybe we've never said before or say things that we've said to said before to people we've never said it to before or say things that we've said before already and say it again. Um, say things that are difficult, share our experiences and our realities that might be difficult to share, might be angering to share, might be hurtful to share. So that's one side of it. And on the other side of it, you have uh, someone who has to lean into hearing difficult things, hearing things that maybe they never heard before, hearing things that they've heard before and, and now it hits them different. So you're either on one side or the other. You're either on the side of talking about things and sharing things that are hurtful to share, or you might be on the other side, the person or the people who have to lean into hearing difficult things. And in those conversations, in those difficult conversations that me, might be difficult to have and difficult to hear, we all have to lean in. And what I mean by that is you have to be willing. You have to be willing to say something that's hard to say, even if you say it while crying, even if you say it while your voice shakes, even if you say it while you're afraid, you have to lean into saying it. You have to lean into telling the truth. You have to be committed to getting the thought out, to getting the thought across. And on the other side, you have to lean in. You have to be committed to hearing something that might be uncomfortable for you to hear. Be committed to hearing something that maybe you've never heard before. Being committed to hearing something that maybe you've heard, you've heard it before, but now you're listening for real this time. We all have to lean in. And so that's what I want to encourage us all to do this week is lean in. Lean into the difficult conversations. Lean into the conversations that might give you a perspective that you've never had before. Lean into the conversations that allow you to vent. Sometimes you just need to vent. And you have to lean into that. You have the right to get things off your chest. It's okay to have to get things off your chest. Do that in a safe space, but lean into the vent. Lean into the emotion. Lean into telling the truth. Lean into hearing the truth. Lean into having the debate. Also, lean into the idea that everybody's not gonna get it. There are people 
who maybe don't want to get it. And maybe you've been shouting from the rooftops, this is what this means, this is what I want, this is what I need, this is how I feel, this is what's going on, this is what's been going on, this is what's been always going on. And there are people who, no matter how many times you say it, no matter how many different ways you say it, no matter who you are in their life, they're just not gonna get it. Some people are gonna choose not to get it. Some people are gonna choose not to see your side or see your perspective. And sometimes you have to lean into that and release those people because you can't get your pressure up because somebody doesn't want to get it. So lean in, lean into the hard conversations, lean into the idea that you might have to remove yourself from some situations and some people who have determined in their mind that they're not going to be on your side, that they're not going to get it. Lean into the discomfort. Because what we're seeing right now in this world, I believe, is revolution. And the only way revolution can happen is if we lean into difficult things. There's going to be discomfort. Protest is not supposed to be comfortable. Revolution is not going to be comfortable. Change is not going to be comfortable. So you have to lean into the discomfort on whichever side, whichever piece of the puzzle you are, whichever side of the conversation you're on, you have to lean into the discomfort of it all. I encourage you all to do so. Find your voice, find your courage, whether it's the courage to speak or the courage to listen. Find the courage and lean into it. Lean into it. That's what I want to encourage you guys with today. As always, fear is stupid. Get out in the world. Live, love, go, do, be, and lean in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.